Hi! In this video, I'm going to tell you about my first goodie box from ThreadUp. Spoiler alert, I love it! I have a policy where every item that comes into my closet, one has to leave and it ends up on Poshmark. I am selling a lot of my own stuff on Poshmark. So if any of this interests you and if you're curious about Poshmark and ThreadUp, by all means, stick around. Hi, my name is Roxana and welcome to my neck of the woods. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new, I do videos on whatever floats my boat. These days, it has to do with secondary market when it comes to clothes. I am selling some of my clothes on Poshmark. This is gonna be a super long video, so if you don't stick around, I totally understand. But if you're gonna stick around, grab a snack, grab a drink, and enjoy. I knew I was gonna be able to finish that video all in one setting. So let's just get into it. If you wanna know exactly how ThreadUp Goodie Box works, at the end I will explain it. You are free to skip over this part and get to the end. And if I figure out how to do the timestamp, I will do a timestamp somewhere around over here. But yeah, let's get into it. Again, remember for every item that comes into my closet, one needs to go away. I love this top. It's totally up my alley. You know, Jessica got my style right from the get-go. Usually styling box, it takes about three boxes before your stylist kind of understand what you're all about and understand your fit and and so on and so forth i'm really a boho girl and this is a definitely boho top with its bell sleeves and this hippie-ish 1960s i'm sorry 70s embroidery kind of a detail i think this is supposed to like be off the shoulder but it's just way too much trouble of wearing it off the shoulder so i just wear it the way i wear it and i i the sleeves really definitely make the top the material is eh, it's so so it's style and co it came new with tag but i've already worn it the tag was ripped off it was originally 56 dollars and i paid 22.99 for it now style and co i believe is sold at macy's i think that's where it's sold i got these boyfriend distressed jeans i like these dress jeans a whole lot it is just every day you know i was not that much of a jean person but it is definitely oh i thought i made a sale it is definitely they're easy to wear i like the roominess of it i hate the fact that i gain weight but it is what it is the jeans originally were $48. They weren't that much and they were $19.99. I don't remember if these had tags. They might have had tags. I, I just don't remember. What am I replacing those two items with? Oh boy, here we go, story time. Right before I stop making videos, my very last video, I showed you guys a whole suitcase. I'm gonna try and link it over here and probably in the description box of a full suitcase I had full of clothes that do not fit me anymore and this is where this item came from and I was keeping them for when I lose weight but you know what I know me when I lose weight I'm gonna want to buy new clothes and then I discovered Poshmark this top is white house black market i used to shop there quite a bit and i love the silver buck detail i like the way it it fit around my boobs you know this was when i was a size medium and that's why i wanted to keep it because it's a classic top but it sold today so today you guys i looked for a good 45 minutes for it I couldn't find it anywhere. I was trying to think what happens when you sell something and you can't find the item. I started thinking, oh my God, did I accidentally send it? Did I sell, sell something else and I accidentally sold the top? It was with the pile of clothes that I wanted to make the video. That my That is my goodie box. And I totally forgot that I had already laid it out because this is one of the items that I'm replacing it. So I'm very happy it already sold. It sold in a bundle today. So I had it for like $15 but I sold it in a bundle. The whole bundle came to about $65 and I sold it for $40. And $40 is four items that were just, again, <laughs> occupying room in my closet. 
and to replace the jeans again white house black market i guess they're white jeans they're off white i love the style i like anything that has pockets on the side and the stitching is uh, like all gold stitching and i have this already up on Poshmark I, I don't remember how much I'm selling it for and here's my closet name and the closet it's also in the description box this is a size 10 regular it's a solid color that really doesn't go out of style but yeah I'm just I don't fit into it my my size right now is 16 and that's 10 that's what I, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get back to 10 so I've been watching a lot of reseller content on YouTube a lot of reseller videos and they were all talking about Gabby you know and I've been going through the thrift store and I have not seen Gabby but uh, two weeks ago, I went through a thrift store out in Atlanta after work. And that was when I first saw my first Gabby. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. Actually, I looked it up online and I thought it was so cool. So then I looked up on ThreadUp and I saw a bunch of Gabby stuff. And I just clicked on it saying that I liked it. And in this box, I got three Gabby items. This one has got a keyhole detail in the back which I think it's really cool. I like the black and uh, red geometric pattern that it has to it. And the neckline, I think it's very flattering. It's a lot of fun. It's long sleeve. This is originally $99. This was not new with tags. And I think it was $30. I'm pretty sure that was $29.99. But I love the way it works with these jeans. And these jeans have the red embroidery on stitching on the left pocket. It also has it all the way on the bottom of the le left leg. And then you got it right here on the right like mid thigh. So you got like visually it works, you know what I mean? It's kind of like I don't know what it does to your eye, but I, I remember placement make, it makes a whole lot of sense. I don't make a whole lot of sense, but the way they place the flowers makes sense. But this is Vintage America. I don't know who makes this. It's a boho skinny ankle. And I, I've already worn this, you know. They look, they when I saw the pictures of it, you know, they don't look as good as I hoped. But that's just because I, I gained weight. So what am I replacing those two items with? cleaning my closet <laughs> let me see some common themes in my closet i love polka dots and this is a polka dot top that is so cool it's from ann taylor that and i guess the two dots is it ann taylor factory is that what that means i think the dots mean something it's got tab sleeves I tend to just wash clothes. My mom gets on my case all the time. I just throw it in the washing machine. If it comes out, it comes out. Well, because I throw it in the washing machine, it looks like it bled here just a little bit, but it's not really noticeable. And I just closed that all on Poshmark. There's a little bit of a mark here. I don't know if it's picking up on my iPhone and then at the collar just a little bit too. This is again, it's another item that had I lost weight, I would not have an issue with wearing it again. I have another pair of White House Black Market, but I just haven't listed them. But I found another polka dot top, and I love this. I think I got this from Kohl's or I don't know, wherever they sell this. What is it called? Alfani? Alfini? Alfini? It's a size 12. It's not all that but again i do love the silver buckle detail here and this shirt is very flattering because it's got this tab thing right across i don't know if you can see it right underneath the breast so it kind of like cinches you a little bit and if you're apple shaped like i am it it was just very flattering this would work really well with white pants or white shorts in the summertime and again 
it's got to go because it just doesn't fit me and it might fit somebody else that would enjoy it as much as I did. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. So when I was ironing these pens, getting ready to photograph them, I noticed that there are like some markings like right in there. I don't know, there's some spots that didn't come out in the wash, but if you notice it, it's... It, I don't think it's very noticeable because it's kind of like right in between your legs. But I did write about them on my listing. But I just kind of wanted to show you that, you know, they're not in perfect condition. That's for sure. Oh, look, I am nice-ish. Are you wondering what I'm going to talk about this jacket? Soon. Okay. Let me tell you. I Actually, this jacket that Octavia is wearing, can you kind of see it? The, between this and... And this, and this is a Gabby jacket. This was 165 originally, and I think it was 40 some dollars. I think that was the most expensive item I bought. The woman's Gabby jacket, I guess I'm talking about it right now, is it was originally $169, and I paid $43.99 for it, and it was not new with tags, but I absolutely love it. Okay, since I'm talking about it, I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like but you can just see it it's got the cinching here inside so you can cinch the waist and it creates a better silhouette i really like the pockets <laughs> they are just so cool i love the army green i just like everything about this jacket i like these tabs that are come here i like the way it fits me and what am i giving up i have not listed this because you guys, you know there's been items that I got from my closet and I get ready to list them. And even though they don't fit, I'm like, no, I cannot get rid of it. And this is one that I'm having issues listing it. And I'll tell you what, there was a time about six, seven years ago when I was doing travel nursing that I had extra money. So I spent, this jacket was like $160. It is the Old Saints. Is that what you call it? I can't even remember the la label. It was $160. Yeah. Old Saints. And I got it from the outlet. Like, I don't know how much it was originally. Maybe 300 and something I have no idea but that's a lot of money to spend $160 at the outlet for a jacket but I just love it I'm I'm hoping to find some pictures and maybe I will insert some pictures you know what's happening like last video my my uh, computer is acting up but usually I insert a lot of pictures and video and every time I talk about another reseller then or another reseller well yeah reseller but another youtuber i always insert videos of them but i couldn't do it last time because I, my, my um, computer didn't have enough memory and with this long ass video it's probably not gonna have enough memory i will see how much i can get for it you know it's one of those really roomy jacket look how cool it's in the back you guys it's got this pleating detail and then it's got the tabs and is the there's an asymmetrical line to it and then you guys i've washed this in the washing machine i just threw it in the washing machine and let it dry out in the air so um, i probably should list this but i might not i don't know check my closet and you will see if i'm listing it or not i don't know how much to list it for i would have to do some research like all the resellers are saying but believe me i have plenty of items to list one of the things that i noticed is that i tend to favor certain colors i already kind of knew this but i do like it's not coming out in here i do like like the peachy coral color yeah it's washing out in here like this zila top i or Zila active wear or whatever you call it it's not something you would wear in the middle of the winter unless you live you know I don't know in New Zealand or if you live in California and it's not all that cold but I'm surprised this hasn't sold it just sold in a bundle with three other items this is a really boho top it's really pretty and it's from Express and that's a size large that's again the theme of my closet let's get back to yes the jacket i absolutely love i'm keeping it 
I'm just listing other things. I'm probably not going to list this. St. John. It's all saints, not St. John. John's jacket, but then I might change my mind. You know, it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Oh, my God. The other thing that is happening in my closet is this whole black and white. I love black and white. I gravitate to it. I think it's a classic pa pattern. This is a new with tags. See, there's the tags. It is Gabby. And I guess it must be the old labels because it's all lowercase. I'm not sure which one is the new and which one is the old. It is extra large and I love this skirt. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I want to show you how much I like stripes with black and white. Here it is a black and white. This is in the closet. Eloquy. Eloquy. I don't know how to say it. it. It was online. I just bought this last year. But you know what? It's time to go. And then I got the girl with curves. This is navy and white. It's almost black and white. But you can see that I kind of have a style, right? Or uh, kind of have a theme. But this between this jacket and this card, these were probably my two favorite items. And I love the green top. And this is Ink International. I think this sells at Macy's. And this card, how much was this skirt? This skirt was originally $89 and I bought it for $29.30, for $30. So yeah, I would definitely buy, spend $30 getting something on sale. God, it is so pretty. I just love this. I love the way it works with this shirt. I am so happy about the shirt. And you know what, if I seen it in the store, that's why I like style boxes. Because if I've seen it in the store, I would have passed by it. A long time ago, I've tried the style of the way it works here in the front. Let me see if I can show it to you. See how it is in the, in, in the hemline? That I tried a long time ago and I did not like the way it, it, it were and so I've been avoiding for this but because I got it in my box I tried it I love the sleeves I absolutely love the sleeves I think they are just so pretty I like ruffles anything I don't know if they're still in but in my book they're still in so yeah that is what I got in my box from thread up that is thread up goodie box it is their styling service as i was saying before i'm kind of easing into wearing secondary market clothes into making it pretty much a staple in my wardrobe and getting away from spending money on retail i do like to buy things that are made ethically you know um and that's why i tend to look for items that are made in the united states because i know the workers in the united states aren't treated as shitty as they are overseas so i like to think that if i'm gonna wear something somebody didn't suffer just for me to look good you know what i'm saying hey as i'm editing this video i'm realizing that i'm not really making myself clear I am on a journey of being more ethically conscious and, and, and taking part of sustainable fashion. Until recently, I didn't realize the evolution of clothes. So you buy clothes, I buy clothes from the store and wear it for however much I wear it. A lot of times it ends up being once or twice or maybe less than five times. A lot of times I, I don't wear clothes a whole lot before I donate them and they end up at goodwill now i was under the impression when you donate clothes they go to poor people but that's not necessarily the case they usually end up being sold super cheap and individuals go and buy them but also a lot of resellers go buy them and then put them on i just had a coughing spill so a spell so the clothes that don't sell at the Goodwill or other thrift stores end up at the Goodwill outlets or the bins and that's where clothes get sold by the pound and believe it or not a lot of those garments aren't sold resellers do tend to buy from the bins and one of these days I'm gonna end up at the bins and purchasing clothes so I can sell them online but Unfortunately, I am four hours from the closest bin, so it's not going to happen anytime soon. That, those clothes end up in the landfill. So when I buy secondhand 
or participate in secondhand reselling, I feel a little bit better because I feel I am not hurting the environment as much and yet at the same time it does feed my addiction <laughs> of buying uh, different clothes to wear you know i'm just that kind of a person and that's okay you know you do you this is my journey this is the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing this is why i'm exploring the reseller market and and i it's it's becoming a fun hobby for me and yeah i just wanted to explain a little bit better why i'm doing what i'm doing and this is kind of the content that you're gonna see future videos on basically clothing sus sustainability i am going to show you the items i'm not keeping the first item that i'm not keeping is not your daughter's jeans and that's because i have pink very similar to these these are originally 119 dollars and where are my glasses these were 119 dollars and now they're 18.99 i mean they are in excellent condition for 18.99 the the jeans that i bought from trunk club i paid 130 dollars <laughs> you see what i'm talking about these are the ankle length i think mine were a different style and the color wasn't quite as vibrant as this but yeah that's why i'm not keeping them not because i don't like it this i thought i was gonna keep for sure i love the vibrant color of this bag i love the zipper detail i love the fact that it's crossbody and like i said i thought for sure i was going to keep it but then when i went inside my closet to figure out which purse i'm going to give i've already gotten rid of a lot of purses that i'm not keeping bags that i'm not keeping so even though i i mean this is like 24 dollars 23.99 and original price is 60 dollars you know i I thought like yeah i thought for sure i was going to keep it no <laughs> i i don't want to give any bags that i already have in order to make room for this so that's why i changed my mind and i'm not keeping this i may have mentioned that already that the majority of the items in this box were new with tags and that works perfectly again jessica knew exactly what she was doing because i'm easing into buying secondhand clothes so a lot of them are new with tags that's my very first order from thread up or new with tags and this is by melissa mccarthy and i thought for sure i was going to keep this because i love the animal print it is a navy and bluish print it's not your typical black and white i like the pendulum thing it's a little bit too snug and it's just not very flatter flattering and that is why i'm giving this up and this jessica mcclan not jessica but melissa and oh, jessica mccarthy seven seven for seven of mankind or seven something is regularly 71 dollars and it is 44.99 this is a torrid sweater and it is up my alley because it's v-neck i like the bright color and i like the cold shoulder i like when you know i'm obviously i like v-neck i like showing off some skin up here i think that's kind of flattering and feminine and sexy sassy and this torrid sweater is regularly $54 as $18.99 and I'm just not keeping it because I do have enough sweaters and I cannot find a sweater that I want to give up to make room for this here's another new with tags item and it looks like somebody got it as a gift because the you know the price is ripped off they didn't like it so they donated it to thread up and this is the international concept women is zeros zero x women's international concept three-fourths top i think regularly 70 dollars is 17 dollars and 99 cents i'm not keeping this because it's just not as flattering as i like it i like the ruffles and the sleeves and again i don't like it enough to give up an item in my closet i know i'm sounding like a broken record so yeah that's what's going back for the gabby skirt this is what i'm giving up i am giving again the peachy coral color and this is the 2019 
God, if you're doing a drinking game, you can, every time I say this is, <laughs> take a shot because uh, you'll be drunk. I kind of repeat that word. But anyway, love the skirt. Love the color. It's totally up my color. I like anything that's asymmetrical. This is definitely asymmetrical. And I don't know what this is. Eyelid. I tend to gravitate to this kind of look this boho look and this brand i got this i i want to say i paid like 60 dollars on sale maybe if i remember correctly and i bought it from off fifth avenue in, out in california and it's xcvi xcvi it is a size medium and you can get away be i wore this even when i was a large so that's why i've been holding on to this because it was expensive even on sale it was expensive it has its own slip it's very well made and yeah but um i'm giving it away because that skirt is way cool and it's a good replacement for it so if you're interested it's on poshmark and my closet name is rocks b0501 you can also find me on instagram and that's foxy roxy rocks b that's on instagram i'll have all that information down in the description box. Octavia changed I <laughs> right after I'm done filming this and I'm about to tell you how good eBox works, but right before I do that, I'm about to list uh, this item, which will be on Poshmark probably before you watch this video. But anyway, I've been watching Empty Hanger. She talks about the festival season and that's where people go to concerts and I thought, I bought this um, two days ago from the Goodwill and I thought this is perfect from the festival and uh, this is going to be on Poshmark. This is a no-name bag. I did get a thread up reject box and yeah, it was definitely a reject box. It was full of purses, but uh, let's talk about the goodie box. This is how it works. Veronica, I'm going to have her channel hopefully over here somewhere if my computer will allow it, but definitely down below, listed below her. Jessica Myers was Veronica's stylist or is Veronica Veronica's stylist for the goodie box and I think she's great. I mean, I kept eight out of the 12 items from the box. The way it works, you get assigned a, a stylist and if you want Jessica Myers, by all means request her. I do not think you'll be disappointed. Veronica said that I won't be disappointed and I definitely was not disappointed. If you know anything about styling boxes, they usually take about three tries before they kind of get your style and how things fit. So I didn't for one bit think I was gonna keep eight items. Now, granted, the reason why I'm keeping eight items because they're affordable. I think I spend around $200, under $200 for sure. If you keep $75 worth of the items that they send you, then $10 goes towards a further purchase, which I definitely am going to purchase again from Thread Up. That's for sure. If you want to try the goodie box, link is in the description and box below. I will below. definitely do another goodie box in the future. I, <laughs> I do have quite a lot of clothes. The way it works, you get a stylist assigned to you and she sends you a box anywhere from 10 to 15 items. You get seven days to try the items on see if you like it all of this styling fee you get ten dollars now again if you spend 75 dollars which i think is quite easy to do then you get that ten dollars applied to a further pur a purchase that's how the goodie box is a little bit different from your regular styling box and if you want to know more about that there's plenty on youtube but you can watch one of my videos on Trunk Club or Stitch Fix. It will tell you all about it and I'll link it somewhere over here. So yes, my first thread up purchase was a great fit for me. And my first goodie box, both of them exceeded my expectations. I didn't think I was going to be as happy with the purchase as I thought as I am. So <laughs> do I recommend it? absolutely for sure 
what am I grateful for? If you've watched me before, I like to end all of my videos on a note of gratitude. Hopefully, it will get you thinking about what you're grateful for. I know Kara from She Does Makeup, and I will link her channel down below or show you over here. She does Grateful Thursdays, so I love seeing all of that. And also, Little Empty Black Hanger. She, that's Christina. I talked about her last in the last video but she likes to you know end on a note of gratitude so i like all of this gratitude vibe and i'm done i'm done but what am i grateful for i am grateful that i am <laughs> making money on poshmark i've you know i made a thousand dollars and as soon as i made it i put it on a credit card so it feels very good and I am happy to not make such a big imprint. I think this is the same gratitude thing that I had last video, but I am happy about that. I'm happy about a whole lot of stuff. I'm just a happy person. I am grateful. I will see you next time. If you like this kind of content and if you like my crazy ass self, by all means, subscribe. Click the button below. It will notify you the next time I make a video. My next video, more than likely, it's already taped. It is on Stitch Fix. And yeah, let's be done. Bye. See you.